through high school relatively unscathed. To my parents, thank you both for having unwavering confidence in me and loving me for the past 18 years, despite the fact that I could be rather difficult at times. Mom, even though I like to act as if I would, would have been just as successful without any assistance, I know I couldn't have done it all without you. I have to admit that your constant worrying has gotten me out of sticky situations more than once. Dad, thank you for creating peace whenever Mom and I are sorting out our differences, which happens quite often at the Hannigan household. To my sister, Emma, thank you for being my first best friend and filling my childhood with happy memories. You've grown up right before my eyes, and I still can't believe you're at ease now. Make the most of your remaining years, because time definitely does fly by. I'd personally like to thank Mr. Alaperti, and on behalf of the entire class, thank you to the guidance department, Mr. Antonetti, and the rest of the stage staff for working hard to make the school a warm and welcoming environment. Someone is always available to help those who need it at ease. To the teachers I've had over the years, I can't thank you all enough for shaping me into the person I am today. You've inspired me by being so passionate about teaching and showing enthusiasm for my seemingly endless questions in class. You have shown me and everyone else that education goes beyond the realm of the classroom. I've received not only academic lessons, but life lessons as well. Last but definitely not least, I'd like to thank my incredible friends who have always been there for me without hesitation. You have all provided me with endless laughs and happy memories that I will hold on to for the rest of my life. Looking around me, I see my peers all gathered together in the same exact spot despite taking very different paths and having very different experiences along the way. Some people spend Friday nights at parties while others studied. Some look forward to sports practices, while others prepared for musicals and drama club. I could list the differences between all of us for hours, but it is unnecessary. When it comes down to it, we are more similar than we are different. We all have a common goal in life, which is to be successful. But how does one become successful? Not necessarily with a huge house and fancy cars, nor does it come with fame. Although those things are definitely nice, True success comes with the type of happiness that money can't buy. Being passionate about your lifestyle is so much more valuable than any salary or amount of material goods. Everyone seeks fulfillment in their lives. It sounds so simple, yet is easier said than done. There isn't a step-by-step -step guide or formula to find happiness. What makes me happy might not make you happy. I personally love doing a good calculus problem, but I'm sure most of you can't relate to that. You have to be happy. There are no universal standards of happiness and success. Pursue what brings you joy. Every single one of us is full of untapped potential. As of this very moment, we could do anything, be anything, study anything we want. Multiple paths await us as we close this chapter of our lives. Use this moment to take control of your life. Listen to yourself and go after that dream job or study the subject that you've always loved. Remember, no two success stories are the same. Happiness is subjective. If you're going to bed with a smile on your face, you're probably doing something right. I have one last piece of advice. Remember to always be kind to others. Empathy is often forgotten about. Try to put yourself in someone else's position before you say or do something you might regret. We can always use a bit more love in the world, especially nowadays. Small acts of kindness go a very long way. All people deserve to be treated with respect and an open heart. You must give love to receive love. There is no doubt in my mind that we will all go on to do incredible things and find success. Continue to surround yourself with the people you love and cherish the friendships that you've made here at Sage and Meese forever. Words simply cannot explain how grateful I am to have begun my life at Sage and. It's been a privilege to have grown up in this amazing community. 
I wouldn't have wanted to spend the last four years anywhere else. As happy as I am to finally turn off my 5.45 a.m. alarm, I am truly going to miss this place from the bottom of my heart. Congratulations to the SHMEs class of 2017. It's time for us to enter the world in the pursuit of happiness.